Hey everybody, good evening and welcome back yet again. Super, super, super excited for this cook tonight. Um, we got uh, we got some surf and we got some turf. Surf being from the water. Two uh, lobster tails. I think these are about, uh, shoot, I don't know. They were eight ounce lobster tails, I think. So whatever that is in weight. And then we got, uh, this is a 1.6 pound ribeye here. Uh, you can see, you know, pretty good looking ribeye. Really nice looking spinalis on that. And then we just got a little itsy bitsy ribeye there. Kind of a, a his and hers. Um, but we're going to be doing all this out on the PK tonight. Uh, yes, this, this is actually my first time cooking lobster tail. Uh, we had it New Year's Eve. My mom cooked it New Year's Eve. But uh, I wanted to do this out on the grill. And uh, like I said, we're going to be doing this on a PK. Going to set it up for two zone cooking, meaning the charcoal on one side, the, you know, a cool zone on the other side. So I can get these things with some nice grill marks on them, move them over to the cool side, and then uh, throw some little lobster tails on there too, and uh, it should be good. So let's go ahead and uh, get this prepped up. But uh, we're going to use just a little bit of W sauce all over the steak first for a binder. Uh, these have been sitting out for about a half hour already because we're going to do these on the grill grates hot and fast. And if they're not done, uh, we'll finish them up uh, on the cool side. But I'm going to guess that this little guy here will probably only take about... Four or five minutes because that PK is going to be screaming hot right over the charcoal. Then the rub we're going to use today, we're going to keep it simple. We're going to use uh, my favorite, well, second favorite steak rub. We're going to use Suckle Buster's SPG. All right, that's going to be good on the steaks. Move these over. And then let's go ahead and get the lobster tails prepped up. Now this is my first time prepping up lobster tails, but I wasn't quite sure on how to how to do it. But uh, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos and I think I got it figured out. So these are thought out. Um, the way I was told, you can check if these are thought out, is if they kind of sort of bend into a ball and the tail can touch the meat. Um, they are thought out enough and it can do that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is cut down the middle of the shell. I'll try using regular scissors here. Then once those are cut, I'm going to try to split the shell here without breaking it. And once it's separated like that, I'm going to pull the meat out, kind of, like that. I'm going to put the shell back together, and then this should just sit, yeah, right on top of it. Kind of, sort of, uh, just like that, uh, and that's how it's going to cook. So again... Actually went really easy. It wasn't that bad. Put the shell together, just like that. Eh, that's kind of cool. Uh, I, one of them's more red than the other. Uh, I don't know. I don't know why, but I think that's normal. Um, these look pretty cleaned up to me. So one last step I'm gonna do for these is I'm gonna hit them just with a little bit of rub, and we're gonna use the uh, the Suckle Busters Hog Waller. Um, you know, I believe this is their. I believe this is Suckle Busters number one selling uh, rub, and it is just phenomenal. So we're gonna go ahead and just go on light, and then that is gonna be about good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the charcoal going out on the PK. I'm um, gonna let the steaks sit out on the countertop, let them get a little closer to room temp. Uh, lobster tails are gonna go back in the fridge, and uh, we will pick back up when we're done with the PK. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, we are back. Let's, uh, first things first, we're gonna sear these steaks off. Vent set up right now. I got the coals on this side. So both top vents are open and then the bottom vent right underneath the coal is open. I uh, got the grill grates on there. The charcoal we're using tonight is the BMB oak briquettes like usual. And uh, I got a couple chunks of oak in there as well. So I'm going to try to get some nice grill lines on here. And the one steak is going to definitely cook quicker than the other steak. So I'll just have to pay attention to that. Go ahead and put that on there. I'm going to let these go for about a minute and a half, and then I'm going to turn them, and I'm going to go for another minute and a half, and I'm going to flip. So on the flip, I will pick back up, so we'll see you then. Okay, we are back three minutes in. It's time to flip these steaks over. So again, the way I like to do this is kind of just leave my tray there, put that on like that, and I'm going to pull this steak off, kind of take my grill brush, speed up my grates. <gasps> Shoot, that's slipping. I don't want that to happen. Again, this isn't a competition style steak, uh, but I think the grill lines just look super cool. But go ahead and give it a flip. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty dang nice. 
go ahead and take this one, do the same. Not looking as pretty, but still looking good. A minute and a half, I'm gonna turn it. I'm gonna go for another minute and a half. Gonna pull the little ribeye off, because I know that one will be done, and I'll probably put the big ribeye over on the cool zone, and then I'll throw the lobster tails on. So I think we'll pick back up when I do the lobster tails. All right, we are back. Uh, this steak has been on for a total of six minutes. Uh, that smaller ribeye finished up at about five minutes it was done. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do with this one is just kind of move it over to the cool zone. I don't believe it is done yet, but I'll take an internal temp on it just to, to see, but I don't think it's done. Now we're at like 90, but that's fine. I could probably sit on here probably for another 10 minutes. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna leave the grill grates on and I'm gonna go ahead and put the lobster tail on just like this on the cool side oh shoot this is hard to pick up this is my first time doing lobster tails i think i've said that already then we'll go ahead and close this thing down shut this vent and then with a like i said with a full load of charcoal on this side uh, with that bottom vent right underneath the charcoal open and with this one open I've been messing around with it, but that gives me about perfect around 350. So I think these lobster tails at 350 should be 10 to 15 minutes. So it should be about perfect. So uh, I'll probably peek back in here in about 10 minutes just to give you a peek at the lobster. And then uh, it'll be getting close to eat. So we'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we are back. Uh, go ahead and open this thing up. Lobster tails have been on for about 10 minutes. Uh, the steak has been on the cool side of the grill for 10 minutes. Uh, first things first, I'm going to take an internal temp of this steak, see what we got. 130-ish. I think I'm going to let that go for just a few more minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and check the internal of the lobster. And about 100. So the lobster, I think, has got probably oh, maybe about another 10 minutes to go yet. But I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, I'm not going to pick back up out here again. I'm going to let the steak go for another 5. Lobster go for another 10. And uh, I should hopefully be uh, slicing into this stuff. So when we're cutting into it, we will pick back up. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, so we are back and it is time to eat. Um, <laughs> real quick, over the cook times. I... You will notice that we are short of steak here. Um, had to feed the girlfriend. Uh, it was about four and a half minutes, five minutes for the one steak. This steak was about a total of 12 minutes. Uh, did the grill grade thing for six and then was on the grill for another six, seven minutes or whatever. Uh, these lobster tails took about 20 minutes. Uh, brought these up to an internal of 140. Uh, I do have some butter melted up, uh, waiting for me to dip that in there. Um, but the steak I brought up to an internal of 130. Uh, like 130 or 129, one of the two. But uh, let's just go ahead and cut into the steak first and see what we got. Put the lobster tails over to the side, even though they're the start of the show. Oh yeah, looking uh, looking pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and just try one little piece here, see what we got. Man, that's tender. Man, oh man, that is that steak is fantastic. Oh, uh, that Suckle Busters SPG. Leave the link for it in the description. Hands are kind of greasy. Uh, super good on there, just super simple. Uh, and then the, just doing it hot and fast. Kind of a, it's not a reverse sear, it's kind of a forward sear to where I seared it off and then let it finish off on the, you know, the low side of the grill. Uh, really does, you know, taste really good. You know, and you can see, you know, the lighting's kind of crappy, but you can kind of see it's, you know, it's pink and red all the way through, uh, just what I'm looking for. But uh, let's go ahead and scoop this over for a sec and try a piece of this lobster. go with that that is really good first time I've ever well first time I've ever cooked it cooked it on the grill uh, about 20 minutes at 350 for these things uh, that is fantastic I will say the next time I do these I will probably do like a butter based uh, throughout the cook on these uh, but I'm gonna dip them in butter so it'll still be pretty good so uh, now besides that I'm gonna go ahead and sign off um, again if you guys and girls are interested in a PK grill go out and get yourself one because you know it's two zone cooking or you can do hot and fast you can, you can do a lot of stuff with it uh, so I'm going to sign off. You guys and girls have a good night, and uh, we will see you next time.